Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting adventure of Mariner of Spirit. I had a I had a hesitation there. I was uh, thinking of something at the same time that it prevented me from going ahead and saying anything. But anyway, I I should start out the right way. We've got some great people in here tonight. We have. Uh, the ladies of the Texas Wraith Hunters. And I'm going to have those on in a few minutes once I go ahead and go through my uh, my regular, what I consider to be my intros, my uh, presentations, my the people that I uh, support, etc. So I will start with Potographs, which is a another charity that's done by, uh, by by a person by the name of Tim Miley. And Tim is a great investigator who started uh, a charity called Potographs when he lost his pup. And he didn't know what he was going to do. And he decided to, he came up with an idea of going ahead and having a picture of himself and his pup from those taken before and he made a bunch of copies. He went to a Paracon and went ahead and got a table and uh, like a vendor and went ahead and sold a bunch of pictures and thought maybe this is some way to go ahead and start raising money for, for, you know, puppies, puppies, um, shelter, animal shelters, things like that. So he went ahead and he did that. And it's grown and grown. He has a, a lot of the big names in the paranormal community that speak for him. I've been I've been asking for quite some time if he would let me do it, but I guess I I don't feel the, fit the bill. But one of these days, hopefully, I I think he'll let me go ahead and do that, which is something that is sort of like a milestone for me. But anyway, we have that. We have. Um, PKC, Paranormal Kicks Cancer, uh, a great team from the state of Florida, Chris Gaskowski and Alex Wilkinson. And they do haunted houses and other events that they uh, plan during the year. And all their money goes to cancer research. And the third one is the Jessica Petri Foundation. And Jessica happens to be the daughter of our own Howard Petri from the great Paralanx and Pun Networks. And he came up with that after his daughter passed. And, and what it amounts to is that her foundation is set up as a resource for expecting mothers and families of person of of pe pregnant women with men mental illness. And that once I saw Howard had it, it was like you know it only makes sense that we support the own, our own people in the community. And Howard is one of them, like the other three or the other two right now. So without adding anything else to that, I would just like to go ahead and mention that uh, some of the authors that if you get an opportunity to go to Amazon, uh, the authors that we support or I support, you have Dr. Heather Lee Langdon, you have Ron Iacovetti, you have Lynn Monet, Dr. Rebecca Foster, you have Bruce Holiday, you have Rex Nielsen, 
you have Tobias Wayland, Todd Bates, and Mr. Ullman from the Ullman House, who just uh, came up with a, a movie about the Ullman House out in California, which is the home that uh, when, uh, I'm trying to think, boy, this is getting me tonight. Uh, it's it's the home next door to where um, he's right on the tip of my tongue. He, he was the mass murderer that killed Sharon Tate and her husband. Her husband was away, killed Sharon Tate and three or four other people, his group of people. And that was, why can't I think of his name? Somebody, somebody write it in the chat or something. This is embarrassing for me to forget that. I've been talking about it all week long. And then I forget it. Well, that's that that how how do we donate? How do we donate to where, Katie? Oh, Katie's here. Hey Katie. Good to see you. And anyway, uh yeah, I'm a little tongue tied tonight for some reason. I don't know why. But uh the little guy. Uh I, uh, I'll think about them later on, and I'll throw them at you when it's when it's beyond time. But anyway, I think that's about where we're going to sit with all that. Uh, I know that tonight's show is is the ladies that are all part of uh, our group that's called the Texas Wraith Hunters, and they're founded by Anthony Slavos. And Anthony's wife is a member, and we've got some other wonderful ladies that are here that are all part of it too. And I thought it, I thought it was a good time to go ahead and bring him on and not only introduce him to you guys, but go ahead and say, hey, this is really time to go ahead and say hi to everybody. And or are we missing? One, two, three. Um, but, Tina? Yeah, we're missing Tina Cobb. Tina will be on here. First of all, we have Kimmy Corpse up in the right hand side. Her 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 name is the Wraith Huntress. Uh, Lady Mystic is Donna. And that's she has a show. They both have a show that's called Donna and and Donna and Kimmy both have a show that's called <laughs> Echoes in the Wind. Right, I, I'm getting that right, aren't I? At least I yes, get one sir. Right, yes, right? Sir. That's how bad I am. And then we have the Wraith Queen, Melanie, which is Anthony's better half, who pretty much runs the show <laughs> and keeps everybody <laughs> honest, so that Anthony Anthony's running his true course. And uh, that's 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 the that's the best part of the whole thing is going ahead and bringing people on and saying hi. And seeing how we're doing and, and wondering uh, if there's anything that's really happening with any of you right now. And we'll start out with Kimmy first. Anything really exciting happening right now? Um, no, we've got some stuff planned coming up, uh, going out and investigating. So we'll see. Hopefully it works out. Is it still cold down there? No, we're running in the 70s. <laughs> oh, that's no good. That's <laughs> That's that's not good at all. <laughs> Donna, are you are you gonna go down there and hold Kimmy's hand when you guys do these investigations or what? You're muted. We can't hear you, Donna. Sorry, my dog was barking. Okay. I forgot to that's unmute okay. it. <laughs> it's great, it's great to yeah. hear you here. Thank you. Yeah, and that's the plan. I want to go down there. And we can investigate and her come up here. That would, so that we could do Salem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you want to see happen this year that hasn't happened in the years past as far as your work Just, is concerned? Uh, a whole lot of bet a, a better year. Okay. That's for sure. Yeah, that's that's really exciting. You know, I I, I really enjoy hearing and I normally hear it from you guys when you're together, you know, what's going on mm -hmm. and things like that. But mm -hmm. it's a great it's a great thing to go ahead and let everybody, you know, that's in the community 
know what you guys are all about because yeah. you know there's not that much that's put out there about you guys and it's and that's why and i'm just saying it because otherwise you're just on a show you know what i mean you're one at a time and, and you guys are never together and you know from what i have seen since i became a wraith hunter i i i see a, a force that's to be reckoned with that you know if we ever get to the point where we're all together at one time you know there's hell to pay that's the only way to put it and yeah. you know that's it, that is a good thing and uh i wanted to talk to you two first because you know then we have the wraith queen and i know that the Sister wraith queen Ray. Melanie, Melanie has been, is it, a, can I call you Melanie tonight? Sure. Okay. okay. That's know, my name. <laughs> Go I right know. ahead. Like when I said, I wanted to say Lady Mystic and then, you know, for Donna. And I said, yeah. I said, did I say Wraith Huntress for you, Kimmy? Was I, was I okay on that? Yeah, no, go by anything. Call me anything. Hey, all. Be careful with that. <laughs> they call us it all. Yeah. They call us great hunters. <laughs> they call us everything. So we are what, what we are. It's 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 at a pinnacle part of the team as far as the investigation sites. Because I know that I'm I'm waiting on going ahead and hopefully getting the tickets so that I can come down to San Antonio. We're looking for forward few, to that for a few days, uh, and I know Reggie Reggie's going, and so so is uh, Chrissy. You know what's exciting, Greg? What the Queen has been going to the forest. Yeah, she's been there. What, yeah, three times. I've been there a couple of times. I think like two, and uh, no, maybe three. Because I know I've, I've taken some pictures when we go. We usually go during the day. I also have been to the Devil's Den. We were just there the other yes. day collecting witch yep. stones. Mm -hmm. do, you know, do you have one of those there right now? A witch stone? I can probably get one here pretty quick. Is there but one I don't have you? them with me. They're up in, in oh. my husband's room. Oh, well, we can wait, you know, if you, you know, you can show them a little later on. I I found it really interesting. And, you know, the how, how all the history behind them and how they're created in that? Yeah. How, how are they created? Pretty much they're uh, in river bits. And the water yeah. will... Uh, just, you know, just the pressure of the water. And we know that usually water is a force to be reckoned with. So mm -hmm. that's how pebbles become smooth or rocks become into pebbles because the water, the force of the water will change their shape. And that's what happens also with these hack stones that they're in place or stuck in the ground and water eventually makes a hole through them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, they're they're really they're really wild looking when I went in and I saw them the other night. Yeah, I li I've seen a couple of big ones. Uh, I mean, bigger than these that I'm fixing to show. Wow. Let me see. Where am I? Okay, there we right go. Right there. And that's <laughs> all the way that's through. Cool. Yes, I'm trying to see if I can't get that picture. Yeah, there you go. There they're you not go. they're not good high uh high stones like. She's showing unless they are all the way through. Yeah. They have to be. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and they're hagstones. There we go. There you go. You can see it. They're yeah. also called hagstones. Yeah. Yeah. And then I love to see. I've seen some uh, big rocks. I mean, like boulder size. And mm -hmm. do you see the oh. hole there? Mm hmm. Oh. Wow, that one really got it, huh? Yeah, and then there's one right there. It got it, too. This one looks kind of like a skeleton. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Right? It's all broken off. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah. So we uh, we went uh, to the Devil's Den um, yesterday, right? 
Well, I believe it was yeah. yesterday. I didn't even know my husband just goes live and I'm not even aware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next thing I know, yesterday. he's talking, Harry, there's, you know, my wife and la, la, la. Yeah. So, <laughs> just kind of like you went live and didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> is, that what it, is that what happened? Yesterday, yeah, yeah while we were right. out there. Yeah. Did you yeah. did he have to pay did he did you get him to pay a fine or anything for no. <laughs> I should though. <laughs> it puts me on the spot. <laughs> well, you know what? Those are really, really neat when you know you can go ahead and just harvest them and go out. Yeah. I mean and, and you know a location where you could you could go ahead and find that kind of uh stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. and what what kind of what kind of benefits come from that stone if i'm not mistaken they're protecting the person who they own and if i'm um correct because i haven't really done a whole lot of study on them my husband was the one who uh, brought my attention to him is uh they're like you put a, you can put a small one over your door so i i say that they're protection stone go ahead kimmy go ahead please no no i just waved in oh so okay just, uh, sorry <laughs> No, you're fine. Um, and then you can wear them as well. That's why yeah. my husband was looking for some smaller pieces. And I think he found one a little smaller than this this one that we're mm -hmm. going to probably put a, a cord through it, a necklace cord. And that way it can be worn. Yeah, she's right. They're like a protection. People put them up over their doors in the house and put a little nail over the front back door um they wear them as necklaces it's a protection like a tiger's eye it's okay. something okay. similar to that supposedly too you can look through the holes and see the fey world too supposedly yeah you know what i'm sorry yeah. you can look through the holes and supposedly through superstition i guess or you know it is that you can see the fey world it. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting to have my experiences with the fake. <laughs> yeah. Real, I read a. I read a. I I saw a movie, and this goes back almost 30 years ago. That was that was filmed in England, and it was the story of this gentleman, and he had one of those old box cameras that set up. And you and you put the the negative inside it, and then you you take the picture. And he had oh, yeah. a a tree in his backyard, and there was something going on in it. So he went back there and he started taking pictures of it, and he came up with these pictures of these little people with wings. Oh, wow! Oh wow! And you know, I have no idea to this day if it was real or not. But it was a movie that had been out at that time and seemed to have sort of a cult following. following. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that that was why when I watched it, I thought, wow, I mean, they're they're this big and they're they're up in the trees and they're hanging around and everything. And, you know, and I thought that that was really, really cool. I wish the heck I'd be able to see something. I never yeah. have. But have you guys? Have you guys it's, at all? Have any I'm of you sorry, seen hold it? Sure. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just needed to make have, sure the front door is closed. Have you guys? Have you guys <laughs> seen anything like that? Have you seen any Faye? Any of you? No, I know there was somebody who went on a lot. Uh, uh, a couple of people, I believe, that have gone in the forest with my husband, and they have. Mm -hmm. I don't know yep. them per se, but uh, like personally or anything, but he's the one who has told me that there was experiences. There's a lot in the forest. There's mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. We saw yeah. the fairies. You know, uh, the fairies are fae, right? Yeah. Uh, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fairies are fae's. There yeah, there was there was a section. I mean, I like I said, I could I didn't go in with them, so I don't know these people personally but that they went in in one of the areas that my husband went in that he thought he was being surrounded by fireflies that those mm. were actually fake yes so um 
that's kind of, I mean, that's where I get excited, but I really just go during the day. So not that I'm opposed to going at night. I'm just, I don't think it's time for me to go because yeah. I would feel it. I mean, I just like the first, second time I went, I was, I was feeling called and yeah. We went and we had me and my husband just both spent time there and it was it to me it was great. It was awesome. Um it was it was uh peaceful is the word I could use. Yeah. Yeah. And I know he said he says it's really different at night, but like I said, until I'm called to go at night, I'm not gonna go and that's the way it is with even with his uh investigations. You know, I stay back and I cover them in, in prayer and <laughs> that's my job. That's my part in this. Yeah. That's, that's that's the way to be, I think, too, is, you know, you can never have enough protection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you always do whatever you can get protection-wise and, and carry you through. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's the amazing part. And, uh. I'm still trying to think of who's the guy. Who's the guy that killed the Tates, Sharon Tate? Uh, Charles Manson. Charlie. How many times? How many times can I say Charlie in a row? You know, it's funny because <laughs> when you went blank on that, I went blank too. <laughs> it was like, what in heaven's name? You know, it's not like, and you know, when we had uh, Reggie and I had uh, Mr. Ullman on. And he had he has the house that's next like next door, and they have they have her in there, and they have all these other people that are all part of the people that died. Oh wow! But, but, but he sees Sharon. He sees Sharon quite a bit. Wow! She's always, she's always in a white dress, and you know. It's this is a, this is a horrible story when you think about it. What oh what yeah, definitely those people and mm -hmm. and for what they did to her, it was just you know. And then I think one of them just died not too long ago in, in the pen. Wow. Um, one of the one of the girls uh -huh. that had, that had been part of that, and uh, it was like oh man. But when he came on, he did he did an awesome job. We had a great time with him. I I I would love to go ahead and have him myself, and I will on my show and and just talk to him. I mean, the man is just he's just a, a wealth of information when it comes everything to the paranormal and you know his his father and. They were house house builders, and uh, wow. he knows a real lot in the paranormal. He's run into a lot of the people in the paranormal that some people don't want to mention anymore, you know. And uh, it's it was re really really neat. But let's get back to this. So, if you guys you guys are going on an investigation, how many pieces of, of equipment do you need to bring? Or do you need not to bring any at all? And I'll start out with Lady Mystic, Donna. Just me. Very good. Excellent answer. Awesome. Kimmy. Um, I've done them with just myself and also a phone. And then also with Donna on the phone with me. And then also, you know, little, hmm. I don't have very much equipment anyway, but. Yeah. Um, usually it's just me and a phone. I know, I know, Melanie, when it came to your trips to the forest, you pretty much just had yourself in, in a camera, right? Well, my phone, you know, and that's what I used. And um, if I'm not mistaken, my husband had his backpack, but what he had in it, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Probably dynamite. <laughs> yeah. But you know, let me tell you, when we went to the den and we were collecting those hag stones, um, as I was bending down, because I kept feeling like you might fall if you're not careful, but all I could see was trees around me. 
and it's it was we were in a quarry you know where you know where there's nothing but rocks and then a little bit of water and you know then the water kind of started going off more but as i was looking down trying to look for these rocks all i saw was like trees just all around me oh, wow. you know and then i'd get up because i would think i was gonna fall and hope i had something to catch me but no there was nothing there and i told yeah, my husband i, heard I keep seeing trees yeah, I heard it tell them. So I wonder if that used yeah. to be like a wooded area at one time. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's how the the natives who were here, it was nothing, there was nothing like buildings and uh, the roads that were built or anything like that. So, you know, eventually all of that got cut down or however, mm -hmm. but I, mm -hmm. I mean, I saw them all around me. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was, was kind of like, whoa. And then we, we were able to see deer in, in there and, and stuff yeah. like that. And I even yeah. caught that on camera. So, <laughs> yeah, they were getting close to y'all. Yeah. Well, I, well, I tried close. to zoom in, but they felt comfortable enough to cross the road that mm -hmm. we were not, we were close by. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, when the queen was bending down and she was, you know, getting the hag stones and stuff. Um, Wraith was making me dizzy with that camera because, you know, how he goes all around and stuff. But when he was facing you because he said he had to keep his eye on you, like mm -hmm. he said, I want to keep my eye on him, you know, because of the den. Um, you know, the talk about it and stuff like that. So, when he did, and he pointed the camera towards you, and you were down. Now, if you remember, when you were down to your left was grass and trees, right? Um, well, really, it was just a quarry for the most part. There yeah. was like scraps and stuff. Yeah, but then over more to the left of you, you know, to the okay. right of you was the water. Okay. I was and facing the were, water, right? You were facing down. I was down, the, but as far as my direction, my body direction was more facing towards the water. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then the left but, did have forest, uh, more forest. Yeah, uh -huh. and then behind you at the same time. I had seen something. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, Rafe. Turn the camera back. But then he spun around and I'm like, he's like, which way? I said, oh my God, I don't know. You just spun around. <laughs> like you just made me dizzy because he's like, he spun right around. And I said, I don't know. You just made me dizzy. I said, I don't know. And then I thought and I said, wait a minute. I know I was looking at your wife. And when I was looking at her, something to the left behind caught my eye in that forest, like all the woods, whatever. It was like more grass, but little bit of trees, one here and there, you know, it wasn't full. It was something near one of the trees. It was an apparition and it was looking at you guys. But he turned it, and I was like, yeah. "Oh my god!" He's he like, was "Which upset. way?" I'm like, "I don't he, know." He was upset that he didn't have his gimbal because that keeps the phone steady. Yeah, and yeah. Oh. I remember there was a section of where I was getting close to the river that I started feeling a scratchy throat. Yes, he was and saying when you were picking up. Yeah, and I was like. um, Feel it. I just felt it. I said, something doesn't want us here or, you know, in this mm -hmm. area. Cause once I moved back towards where he was, it, that feeling went away. Yeah. Yeah. And it was he, just different areas. It yeah. was weird. So every I mean, time you he know, would move. I'm yeah, sorry, the, go No, I just, it wasn't uh, anything that. I think the only thing that affected me there while I was there, because we even went to the in and into the bunker. 
Ooh. you know yeah and you know it's all graffiti in there and everything okay i love you be careful how come I don't get a kiss? <laughs> Bye, baby. Aww. Stay tuned. Aww. Careful, are you going to? Okay, <laughs> be careful. Stay tuned. We're taking the grandkid, too, so. Okay. Oh. Best of luck, Anthony. Cover be safe. Light. We'll be all right. Be safe. Yeah, 11 o'clock. 11, 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. He's going live. <laughs> we'll be on. So it will be good. Yeah, we'll be but there. he also told me that he smelled that guy. The one that ran the the cake. The I believe it. He right. smelled I believe it. it. He smelled him yep. while we were there. Well, I read his cards. Uh, we were talking about it today. Uh -huh. now, when he went to the forest the last time, he was with Lurka mm -hmm. just recently. And um, we were watching it. It was just him and Lurka, though. Uh huh. And um, he kept saying, Look, everything's different. Mm -hmm. It looks like we went in at the beginning a long mm -hmm. time ago when we first started coming. I don't know if he, he must have told you all this, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he said, everything is different. I can't believe it. We were just here two days ago. I was here with my wife. And this was not like this. Yeah. And he kept going and going. And I said in the comments, Wraith, remember your cards. I, we, me and Kimmy were doing cards on Phantom Friends uh -huh. at the time uh -huh. before we stopped. And when I gave him, he said he wanted a reading. So I did. And at first I got like a, I don't know, when he said, I want a reading. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, so I did it, and then that's why the cards are still here right now. When we were talking earlier, uh -huh. I pulled the cards out because he remembered. Um, the card said "New Beginning" it was one of the cards, and um, the other one we couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what it said, so I pulled it out. And I said, I, I knew what card it was. And it was a girl, like, on, like, a, a leaf, like a flower. Uh -huh. And she was, like, like this, like, awakening. Like, she was waking up. And then you can see the abilities. You know how they have the beans coming out the head? Uh-huh. So it was her abilities. She was just waking up. And at the bottom, it said... Um, dang it. Wait a minute. It's right on top. So I don't say it wrong. I thought maybe she right, was suffering. Right here. <laughs> it said new life. Now the okay. other card said new beginnings. And then this one, new <clears throat> life. And she's awakened like the way we were talking is like, she's, you know, he's saying everything's happening and everything else. And I was like, think about it. I said, um, you know, she's awakening. It's like you went to another level. Mm -hmm. Like you've been awake. You've had your gifts since you were young. But you went up. Everything's heightening, changing, new beginnings. And then that other card with the new life. So, who knows what the forest now has in store, you yeah. know, changing like that. Something, tell me something. You know what I mean? The way it was showing. Really interesting. Exactly. That like, was really, that going to apply to everybody that's there at that time? Or just that who was did the reading for? It was that just was just who I did. Yeah, that was just Great. for Anthony. Yeah. Well, I think so, I, I know that um, a lot of times when cards are ready, it's kind of like being uh, a, around a prophet, you know, in the Christian realm. And I know one time I went to a conference and what they said was, you know, if they didn't get to lay hands on you at that time, 
but you felt like a word that was being spoken resonated with you, then that went for you too. Because there's, you know, in at times like those, you're in such a, a big state, especially if you're at a conference, that they can't get to everybody. Right. And I've felt several mm -hmm. times, even, you know, that if you catch something and that resonates in your body and you feel that word is for you, regardless of when that word was uh, spoken, then you take yeah. it regardless yeah. of what. And yeah. so I've learned that here also, as I've watched uh, psychics and Reiki workers and healers and stuff, that it's the same. It's time uh, when it comes to these things, time has no uh, meaning, if you will. You know, mm -hmm. when it reaches you, if that's the time it's supposed to reach you. Yep. You know, it's not just going to be that they did it on one certain day and then all of a sudden it, you run across it and you're just taking it. No, if it resonates with you, that's a message for you. Exactly. You know? so exactly. That's and those that cards, learned. when I was doing it, those cards jumped. As I was shuffling, they just jumped right out. Oh, yeah. So I was like, yeah, they definitely like mm -hmm. not and, like and I, I, I can see where that fits in our life because you know we have this is a new journey new beginnings new beginnings and a new yep. life because yep. the life we had in odessa even though we we've been together through thick and thin through you oh, know yeah. for 25 over 25 years you know mm -hmm. and we've been through a lot and we've wanted to mm -hmm. get out of that house for a long time but i mm -hmm. knew for a long time, we had to get it fixed. We can't just sell it like this. This was our blessing. This is what was going to get us over here. Yeah. You know, and he started finally getting it that, <coughs> okay, we're going to start working on it, fixing it up. And we got, we were, I'm going to say we got about 90% done. Yeah. Right. You know, and, but now the rest every, of it, the rest of it that he's worrying about, uh -huh. I keep telling him just, Keep going, do what you're doing with the moons, and you know how you you do your intentions. You're right. Keep doing it; it'll go your way. And yeah. I'm telling him this, like from the get go. Don't give up, and he don't. He never has. Like <laughs> he's just that type of person. Right. I said, just he's keep going the way you're going. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it'll get done. It'll go. Not as quick as you want, maybe. I mean, who knows? It might. But well, I know we've already that'll found somebody final. to try to finish the rest of the house. So that way we can get what we would try to intend to get to in the beginning. Right. Yeah. Because we were going to, think... we had lowered the price, but then oh. I asked her, you know, I asked our realtor. So she's got a brother-in-law who I know we're like family because, uh, he had a, a son with one of my cousins, and then his brother is married to the sister of that <laughs> that cousin. So it's a nice like house. Well. It's a really nice house. You didn't really lower it a lot, right? Which one? <laughs> the one that you just came from. The one. You oh, were it in. was it it it. From what it looked like when we got there, it's um uh, really it's really nice compared. But it's a great fixer, you know, yeah. somebody who, who, you know, likes Just to go in and do that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then with the shop, of course. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. like she said, yeah. we had a big old uh, patio put in the back for entertaining. And we did a lot of entertaining out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, but I, I think mean, you that's know, the last worry on him. It's just, get, it's just minor repairs. Our bedroom was the last one that would needed to get fixed. So yeah. that, and then a couple of other touch-ups and we're good. So That's we asked if, if maybe her brother-in-law could come in and, and fix it up. So he's working on a bed for us right now. But the fact that we got this new beginning the way we did, it was just like, and it happened so fast. There mm -hmm. was a lot of turmoil when we got here, but yeah. You know, it's, it's not anything yeah. that we can yeah. or won't get through. Yeah. I mean, this front room where I had all my crystals on the floor, you can see the floor now. Not that everything's put up, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> we but just got lot. everything out of the middle of the floor today. Right. There, there's a lady, there's a lady in the comments section. Okay. I, and I'm is. sorry, I don't mean to like just take over and talk about yeah. all no, no, stuff, no, so. no, I was I was I was just adding on to it in the respect that there is a lady, her name is Barbara Woodbury Spear. Hi, Barbara. And, <laughs> and we all we all used to deal with a close friend of ours that's up in Wisconsin. And she would have it. She still has her shows on once once a week, I think, or once every two weeks. And she's her name is Sandy Frankowski. And Sandy does an amazing job with crystals. But mm. as soon as I saw your crystals, it was mm. like, wait a minute, you know, um, mm. You know, I'm 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 a buyer. Okay, I'm not a seller. <laughs> okay. So you know, I started to say, "Wow, well, now this is even ten times better." Oh my but, goodness! Thank you. You know what I mean? And and when when it came down to that that part there, she has. I always kid her because she's in a psychic unite group with me. And we always talk, and I always kid her about the fact that she has to reinforce her floor in her living room because okay. she has too many, too many crystals in it, and it's going to oh. fall through. That's what I feel about my tables. <laughs> Got to be careful. But there's yeah. there was going to be one more lady on here, and her name is Tina Cobb. And Tina is a member of the ladies too. Oh, so she's here? No, she's not here right now. I'm I'm still waiting. Oh. On her, but I thought I better mention her because it's it's getting a little late already. And you know, she's a, an eclectic witch. Mm. And, she's an awesome, awesome, awesome lady. Awesome. Yes. I love it. And that's not that's not all she does, but I mean that's that's a title mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't really carry yeah. but that's a modern day witch who can use all the different forms of uh witchery if you want to say witchery and different mm -hmm. methods and myth and choose exactly what you want for yourself which you know can can make a lot more sense in today's society compared to what was steadfast back in the day Right. You know, yeah. you have all had to follow the same practices. And you know, now now it's that, but I I was looking forward to having her on too. But she well, just she so you know, she, she, she I'm sorry, I was gonna put in a little plug for her, but she sells candles and uh the bells that go in front of your door. What are they called? Oh, the witch bells. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and she does make she crafts mm -hmm. signs for like the holidays and stuff. You know, I tried I posted some of them. I shared what she had sent me um to see if anybody would like to or if anybody was interested. And you know, I like to do that for my friends that have yeah. businesses. I want to help them get their uh their business out, even if it is crystals, even if it is things that I sell, because yeah, we may be in competition, but she may have something I don't. Well, you know, that, that, that may... was the point. That was the point I wanted to make the difference between you and Sandy. Mm -hmm. And not, you know, normally Sandy has her show on when I, me and Reggie are on. So mm -hmm. I miss it. So I'm, I'm sort of out of the loop that way. But mm -hmm. I, whenever I can, I'll catch her for 15 or 20 minutes uh -huh. and just see what she's got at that time. But she goes for like four hours. Wow. Okay. Wow. Sometimes I, I, me, myself, I'm trying to build up my audience. So that's why I take it kind of slow. You know, yeah. you know, at least an hour. And I know I don't have set days yet. Usually on the weekend, but I was... Uh, honorably and uh invited to this show <laughs> right well, it's, so it's, i didn't yay, do a live today <laughs> it's, it's logical it's 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 what it it's it's meant to be you know what i well, mean echoes and, in the wind had you too right 
Yeah. They do too. They, you know, you guys, you guys are really great too. I mean, there's not a person in this room besides me that isn't great. <laughs> exactly. I'm no, I'm talking about, <laughs> about, okay. about you being great. <laughs> no. I, you know, I, I, I try, I try to bring everybody out and, you know, if there's, if there's something else that you guys want to mention, Donna or Kimmy, that would add to what the Wraith Queen has already mentioned, you know, go ahead and have at it because that's what that's what makes the show is mm -hmm. so people can see what you guys do too. I know Miss Kimmy say, has her cooking show. Yes. <laughs> I have okay. yet to catch it. I have yet to catch it, but I want to. I've seen some of that food. Oh, yeah. Also also me and Kimmy do what's called Phantom Friends. We have another podcast. It's called Phantom Friends. And one week we'll do, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll do cards. Um, every week is something that, you know, something different. And okay. that's Phantom Friends. So then do you do, like, uh, will you do... Uh grilled cheese and ham sandwiches sometimes things like that oh, yeah. that's that's on yeah. monday yeah uh, no, that's I mean, on I, monday yeah. no i mean i'm phantom friends no not phantom friends you'd, have, you'd, you'd have everybody <laughs> following you with grilled cheese no phantom friends and echoes in the wind me and kimmy do together the cooking show brand. is all kimmy kimmy's trying to get me in it but that's all Kimmy right now. <laughs> She's really her, trying. You're ready to start stirring your finger there, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> She's really trying. She's trying to get me in it. But <laughs> well, it, 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 it could work, you know. Yeah, it could, but Kimmy, how does that work? Do you have uh people who come in or just friends and y'all just cook a meal together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just all bought it, like get a recipe together, and then we all buy the same thing and all cook it together. Yeah, different guests. Okay. She'll all have right. like different guests come on, and they'll get together before the show, and they'll cook the same thing on the show. Okay. But she's trying to get me <laughs> to be her co-host with her on the cookie show, like the other shows. And cook with her, but I'm not a cooker like Kimmy. I used to be. I used to be when I was married. I when I was married and my kids and I was cooking every night for supper. But it's like, man, I'm on strike now. I don't cook every night like that. But I might. I have to thank God for my son because he does cooking. I mean, Aww. whatever yeah. I've gotten, whatever I've you know, going through physically or in, internally. Uh, yeah. There's days I can go without eating. Today I haven't eaten yet. And I mean, oh. it's not anything that I do intentionally. It's I just, I'm not hungry. And when I do eat and I'm hungry, I, I start getting like, I can feel nauseated if I eat or I'm getting too much. So I have to, you know, I just it that's what it is. I don't I'm not hungry and then I don't feel hungry or I have know when I need to stop as much as I want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um so he's taken over that. I mean, even then I was I could I made some rice yesterday and he's like he's adding salt to it. I said it doesn't have enough salt. He's like, no. I said, dang, I said I'm gonna he, I, he <laughs> says, I told you, mom, you lost your touch. So, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. and I'll take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> probably because you don't feel good. It's probably but, you don't yeah. feel good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's a big portion. And, but also, too, because I have problem. my uh, cataract lens needs to be cleaned. And so I can't see where oh. the settings are on the stove quite clearly. So I turned it up to high, thinking it was on low, thinking it was oh. low because I needed it the rice to steam. Right. That's when you oh, told me it's fried rice and you can move huh? on. You know, that's when you just told me it's fried rice. 
<laughs> well, no, he, he kind of started, and he's like, because you know, sometimes with that, you know, with rice, if it starts to burn, it the smell gets into the rest of the food. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. he he made sure, and we were able to eat enough of it with our meal that you know there was enough that it was able to be saved. So <laughs> he that's why I'm saying I just sometimes I and then I don't when I don't feel like cooking it's like what do I need to make what can I cook you know all, all that it's just yeah so yeah he's it. he's awesome because he's got the kids you know so he does what he has to to take care of them yeah and then in, in the meantime we kind of take care of all each other you know mm. so that's a, that's a blessing gave me a picture in my head of having like a big picnic and Kimmy and Donna were making the meal. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. No, no, no. Out of all no, out of all the shows you guys have had, mm. not only not only both of the shows. Yeah. What would be the two favorite episodes you'd have on both of the shows? So if anybody had an opportunity to go back and watch, they had they would pick up quite a bit off it. What do you think, Kim? Hmm. The best one. Are you think are you thinking food wise now or are you talking about the other show? Well, I have a um, feeling it's going to be something else for them to collaborate because that's what their shows are, collaboration of yeah. working together, where her cooking show is mainly her and it's her, just her guest. Yeah. So I, you know, if, she, if, if that's even one of her favorites, I would think, you know, mention that, which food meal yeah. was, was your favorite. But I know he was asking particularly for... Yeah, the, the two food. we do together. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Echoes in the Wind, I don't know. But for me, I think the best show, I don't, I don't know. We had some good shows. I don't know, Kim. Which one do you think we did? The best one on Echoes? Well, I mean, what, I have a lot of them, but at least one of my favorites is when we had Rez on. Yeah, that was a good one. Now that's Resnick. Mm -hmm. Resnick, yeah. And um, his friend, Sean. Okay. Um, Sean is, all, they're both all Native American. And that's why uh, we chose to have them on. And they told us like a lot of stories and Sean came on and he don't usually do podcasts, but he did it for us. And he was telling us a lot of different stories and stuff like that about I know like, Native Americans. I know there's, you know, when you bring up Bresnik, you know, he's, he's a great friend of, of Brandon's yeah. and, you know, uh, I have yet to meet him. And Brandon has nothing but accolades for him from the beginning to awesome the end. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. And, and yeah. that's what really, really makes it, you know, when you think about somebody like that, that that carries throughout the community and just doesn't give to a certain group, he gives all the way across the board. Yep. You know, One of my spirit what, guides, I, I don't mean to cut you off, I'm sorry. No. Go ahead. One of my um, spirit guides, um, I knew he was a shaman. He shows up with like a white mask. You know how they have the white mask and it has like a bird's beak on the mask. Um, and I said, you know, I kept asking him, please cover my dreams. Like, you know, tell me your name. You know, so I could find out his name. Because Tina, <laughs> we did a show with her one night. This was way back. And um, backstage after the show, um, I have a guy, Charlie. He's a jokester. He likes poking at me, playing with my head. And 
the whole nine yards. Tina was laughing and laughing. She's like, oh my God, this is a comedy, you know? And then I had this new spirit guide. He's really strong, all Native Americans. So I said, Tina, maybe you can help me. And she said, what? And I said, I don't know his name. I don't want to call him the shaman, you know? So she asked him and he said, then he F business. And I was like, whoa. I said, that wasn't very nice. I said, she's my friend, you know? And she was just laughing about it though. She's like, this is so comical. I could be on all night. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> long story short, um, Resnet, we had him on. And then I asked him if there was any way. Like, I've tried everything to try to get this man's name. I don't want to keep calling him the shaman. Resnet got his name. Soren Eagle. Foreign eagle? Soaring eagle. Soaring, okay. Yeah. And he is such a strong guide. I mean, very protective. He's always right here. He's here right now. He's right here. He wasn't the, the soldier, was he? No. There is a soldier that people bring up. Uh-huh. I remember the I picture you showed me and, and that night your yeah. face he was appearing in your face. Yeah, I remember I that. I don't one. know who that what I don't know who that is. Well, at the time it, you I think you told me he was like a guy to you, but you had a picture of him and it was exactly oh, who I saw. I know I know who it is. I know who it is. Sorry. Yeah, uh huh. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. 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 <laughs> Yes, Charlie. 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 Charlie Beck was uh, a um, a French soldier, and yeah, and then um, he did things to help, and the natives adopted him in in the tribe. And still to this day, he's behind me. I can feel him. My back is cold. It's like the bottom of my back always like that much. Mm -hmm. um, he's the jokester. And now when you see him, he has long hair. And his hair all goes up like a mohawk. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just in the top. But the rest is all long. That's Charlie. He was a soldier. That's who you saw. Yeah. Wow. Tina, I couldn't figure out. Now I know. <laughs> Tina, Tina just went ahead and messaged me and said that I just got home. I am going to bed. I have a fundraiser walk tomorrow morning for blood clots awareness. Oh. Stop the clot, it's called. Stop the oh. clot. Well, this is this That's is from cool Tina, name. and Tina Tina is the eclectic witch, eclectic we fire about. witch, fire witch. Yeah, eclectic yes. like fire. fire. She's a great, great person. I, I call so, her my daughter. She calls me I, mama. <laughs> I was hoping that she would be here, and I did send another link out to my other mama from supernatural uh -huh. link which is katie stafford because uh -huh. she says any link and i went ahead and sent it to her and then she didn't come in but katie katie's like a a sister to me would be mm -hmm. a good way to put it and she's her and i have been close for quite a few years now and she does amazing work and she works on her shows and the shows that i do myself and the shows that every once in a while she'll be on she's coming on reggie's in my show too uh, but she, her and her husband katie stafford are the ones that do a lot of the make the spirit boxes and they're from oh. missouri and, and they're they do some awesome awesome boxes wow and, I don't know if I ever 
that's why I, I love watching her when she's on. Yeah, Katie's Katie's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I thought she'd be on here. I was going to have is her she, fill in. Is she what? Is, is she one of the ones that does the Estee method with you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm she has a long hair. She has a long hair. Long, long, uh, reddish brown hair. And I'm probably wrong with that. And she'll probably start. Oh, out. I know who she is now. Yeah. She's like a really, she's a pretty girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I know which one she is now. I remember her showing um, one of those boxes. Yeah. I she's done that. an awesome job. It's yeah. after 10 o'clock, ladies. And uh, if it's okay with you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Yeah. Because I know you guys got to play catch up before. Anthony comes on and that, and I want to give you that ability, and I would like to have well, all you guys back when we have everybody together. Okay, you know great. I mean? all, That'd be have, fun. have Tina, have Tina, you know, and 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 really do. This was a great show to me. Well, I'm thank sorry you for I having us. Yeah, those thank you for having us. In the beginning, thank you. You're welcome. This is this is what it's supposed to be about. Yeah. I think where we could all talk and you know we're all on the same plane yeah it makes and the difference get to know each other you know from being in a distance it, it helps us to get to know each other just a little better yes it right. is. And everybody's got their own talents their own gifts and you know when you put them all together it's it's a very powerful unit i think except for uh i love your background by the way I'm glad you got that one. The flag or the banner or the tapestry? Yeah. Yeah. I have another one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a box got in and nice I need to put that. Well, I need to put the oh. post up, but th that one I have two of. So I went ahead and put that one up. Is that the sun? Really? Oh. That's beautiful. Thank you. So I have some, I should be putting them up here, uh, posting them up. I've just kind of been, you have I get overwhelmed sometimes, but today style? it helped me with clearing out this. Yeah, I feel, I feel like a load has been lifted, but I still have a lot of work to do. Do you have any <laughs> like native kind of style or no? Uh, right now there, I have one of mushrooms. Mm, I don't believe so. I'll look at my phone and check, but I don't okay. believe so. If I do, I will send you a picture. Okay. But, um, awesome. you know, just kind of got into them. But okay. if you don't mind, Greg, if I could just let everybody know, oh, um, sure. I'm sure. with uh, Wraith Worlds from the dust crystals and minerals. And I sell crystals, minerals, uh, tarot cards, and just mainly, it's mainly crystals and minerals. So I would like you to follow my page. It is on Facebook from the uh, Wraith Worlds from the Dust Crystals and Minerals. And if you would please follow Wraith World, please follow uh, Texas Wraith Hunters and Blue Lace Productions. Yes, Blue Lace and is this lady has crystals like I've never seen anybody else have. And I'm not just saying that because I love her. She does. <laughs> she Thank has you. crystals she does that have I have never seen. She has very unique crystals. And she picks her crystals. And believe me, they're beautiful. Thank you. Like, yeah, I'm, if I'm very you take the time, Yes, if you take the time and look, you will see what I'm talking about. This woman has very beautiful stuff you, and beautiful uh, taste. Do you bless them too? I do cleanse them. Oh, yeah. I cleanse them and before they go, because really what it is, is they're not mine. You know, yeah. I, I buy them to sell them so that once that they depart from me, then the person who they belong yeah. to, that's, you know, up to them how they want to. But I do cleanse them from, you know, when they get here. And we've also got sage going pretty much all the time, the dragon's blood, so they're protected as well. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> Dragon's Blood is the best. That's the best. Yeah. Donna, Kimmy. Follow Echoes in the Wind, Phantom Friends, Phantom and what's the cooking everybody. show's name? Shout uh, out the cooking show. Kitchen, but it's on Phantom Friends. Okay. Don't burn, right. don't burn the pots. <laughs> thank, you here, thank you, Greg. Yo, thank, you, thank you all for being here. It was a great thank show. You, thank you, Greg. We appreciate it. We love you. I love you guys. Thank too. you, Greg. Loves okay. and hugs. I wasn't, going, I wasn't going to the puppies. We could have gone another hour, but I got to get over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> thank right. you, guys. Love you, guys. Thank you. Love you. Loves Bye, and hugs. The, Good night, Mel. Good night. Good night. Good night, later. Kimmy. Good night, Greg. Bye. Love you. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Three, two, one.